The immediate example that comes to mind in terms of lessons that I learned from sport was, uh, honestly, it's a lesson in subjectivity. So uh, I was fortunate enough to be a fourth round pick in the NFL draft. And when you look at uh, somebody in my shoes, uh, you know, I went to Stanford. I played for Dennis Green and Bill Walsh. I'm a fourth round pick by my hometown team. So that condition, think about the millions of people who would want to be in my shoes. And I was cut after uh, training camp. And oftentimes you hear guys talk about politics and you know why you didn't make it or whatever. And I think what I realized is that it really comes down to I was not Deion Sanders. You know, I was a guy who there's a hundred guys like me, which means that the coaches have to make a decision. So if you use a boxing analogy, it came down to the judges. And and I didn't get chose. And that's not really politics to me. That's I learned a lesson that I have to do everything. I can do in my power to, to put myself in a position to be successful, but if I'm not good enough, I'm just not good enough. And that decision is not, you know, necessarily personal. It's, I just wasn't good enough to make it a knockout. You know, that's why I mentioned Deion Sanders. There's just no question he's one of the greatest to ever do it. And there, you know, he's going to be on anybody's team because he's that great. And that just was something that I wasn't great enough to overcome, you know, the subjectivity of the situation. So it just really taught me going forward. If I can walk away at peace that I did everything I could do to be successful and it still doesn't work out, I can still walk away with my head held, head held high. And I think that's a very important lesson for life.